What's good, everybody? Here's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Timo, my brother's music. So, guys, we all remember the Kevin Samuels video, Average at Best, which featured a young lady by the name of Jessica from North Carolina. And she was a single mom. She came on to the particular show. And she was looking for Kevin Samuels advice. Now, from what I understand, I can remember about the interview. He was trying to talk about something else and she wanted to shift the conversation to another topic. That topic on that particular day was not what the show was about. But we know sisters sometimes when they want to get their way, they got to get their way. God damn. Well, we already know what happened on that clip. Uh, Kevin Samuels told her about her looks, told her about the situation, and she was average at best. Can I get a game over sound effect? And, you know, she was sort of trolled all over the internet. Um, and, and to be honest, it did kind of get overboard. Go overboard. And, and for some of the people that were Kevin Samuels fans, not that he may have done, you know, things like that because he really didn't, but... You know, people were commenting on her like a audacity, talking about what she looked like and things like that. And to be fair, she wasn't being mean to black men at all, right? She wasn't. However, she has reappeared, guys, on Bravo's show, and she actually moved to Atlanta. And she's on this show called The Matchmaker Wants to Prove a YouTuber Wrong. And she says something very interesting in this particular clip about how she feels about black men. So we'll put that out here. Play that clip. What did I do to them? I just stated what I wanted and they came and attacked me. And I'm like, if that's how they feel about me, I don't want to date black men. I had a disdain for them. So guys, you heard that right there, okay? She's basically saying that, listen, I, I don't even want to date black men anymore. The reason why is because of how they talked about me on that particular clip. I was just saying my preference and they attacked me. So we're going to be real. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to be fair. All right. Did some people go overboard with what they were saying about her? Absolutely. People made memes of her on the internet. Absolutely. But for her to say, I don't want to date black men anymore for that. That's very interesting. Again, it's putting all black men in the box. What have I told us? What have I told you guys about this? See, if black women have a negative experience with black men, they can put all of us in the box. And guess what? The matchmakers there are not going to have a problem with it. But let's say if you were a black man and you came on to, let's say, Kendra G's show and it was viral and it went all over the Internet. Right. And then after which it went over the Internet. You would see all of these different things, different situations, women roasting you, you know, in black Twitter, Madame Noir, all these places, boss up, you know, in the comment section. And then you came out and you said, I don't want to date black women. No. Oh, sorry. Stop the show. You would be a man. I don't want to say music. I don't want to date black women anymore. Uh, if that's how they feel, I don't want to date them. People will be like, sad music. Oh, well, you ugly anyway. You're going to throw all black women under the bus? You're going to put them all in the same situation? That's my argument today. All black men may not feel that way. And it's interesting because you're actually in Atlanta, which is really a black dominated city. That's what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with today, guys. All black men based on a certain few. Now, if it's the other way around, we already know what the answer is. My question is, why is it okay for black men to be generalized by black women? And if we generalize black women as a whole, we're demonized. You can lose your job for saying something like that. You're called a self-hater. You should be put out the black community. But it is so easy for women to do it. Let me just tell you guys something. We all go through negative experiences in life. All of us. Well, our own people. All of us. I've had my house broken into. I've had people not pay me back. I've had people break windows, sell my cars, all kind of stuff. Black people, should I let 
those negative experiences dictate the everything for the rest of the people? The answer is no. That's stupid. That's ludicrous. It makes absolutely no sense at all. Okay? At all. Because just because many black men or some black men on the internet and you don't even know what they look like, they might have something to say. It doesn't mean that the black men all around the world will feel the same way. And here's the issue that she's wanting to talk about. And it's really, it's not about those people. The problem is Jessica couldn't get that sort of black man in the first place. That's where the real jealousy is. Cause let me tell you something like this, right? If you are somebody and you're getting what you want and people are hating on you, talking shit about you, you don't really care. You only really care if you can't get what you want and it's being coming to it's coming to light. See, before the interview, she was feeling that way anyway. You see, she was taking care of guys. She was spending money on dudes. Dudes were not on her level. And the guys who were on her level, she was experiencing rejection. So that factor was already there. And that comes to, you know, many ladies are like that. Um, what happens is ladies in the black community, some of them will go out there. They will deal with the kind of guys that they can get. They won't improve themselves to get a guy of a higher value. They don't want to compete. And then when the guys that they want, they can't get, they start to have a, 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 a problem with those black men. It starts from there. Now, when you reiterate the fact that that's the truth, or it could be the truth, and, 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 and albeit it is mean, it is uncalled for to throw it in their face. That is when the gener that's when you start to see these women want to become swirlers. In other words, I'm going to take my talents to another community. I'll date a white man. Okay, how likely is it that in, if in the black community, which is more liberal, if, 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 if you can't get black men to date you, the ones you want, are you going to go to another community with a black child and then get a white man, an Asian, a Hispanic? Which one of these guys are you going to get? Hmm? I want to know. Which one of these guys are you going to get? Oh, okay. Because all of these guys are going to feel very the same. So again, this is personal. And, all, and, and although it is mean for the guys, it was wrong for them to do it. This emanates from a, 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 a prior circumstance. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. <laughs>